lovelies, welcome to my channel. Today I have this summery, shimmery, purple look for you guys. Now, I was really excited because the other day I went out and I bought the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade um, Addiction. I heard a lot of good things about this um, and I was really excited to try it. And I went out and I bought it and I came back and I tried it and... Okay, first of all, it's beautiful. It's um, very velvety and silky and moisturizing. However, not really matte. Um, <laughs> it's quite shiny. So if you're looking for a matte liquid lipstick, then maybe not the one for you. However, it is beautiful and I definitely like the way it turned out. Also, I put a <laughs> shimmery pink um, pigment on my eyelids and I don't know where it went. Halfway through the makeup I looked up and I was like I'm sure I put a pink pigment on my eyelids and now it's not there. So I don't know what happened but um, I still like the way this makeup look turned out and if you'd like to see how I achieved it then please keep watching. So for moisturizer I'm just going to start off with my simple oil balancing moisturizer. And then for primer my Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. To prime my eyes, I'm going to use my Maybelline Creamy Mattes Color Tattoo in the shade Creme de Nude. And then for my transition shade, I'm just going to use my Makeup Revolution Palette. And I'm just going to use this shade here. So for the outside of my eye, I'm just going to go in with this shade and I'm just going to use a flat, denser brush. And this palette does seem to have a fair bit of fallout, so just maybe do this before you do your foundation because you're going to need to wipe underneath your eyes afterwards. But it is a nice, affordable palette with some beautiful shades. It's just very annoying the amount of fallout that comes with this palette. And then I'm also just going to put that shade on the inner corner. And then in the center of my eye, I'm going to use my beautiful Napoleon pigment in the shade Pink Champagne, but unfortunately mine's broken, so I've had to put tape over it, which is very sad, but it's still usable, so that's okay. And I'm going to use the same brush, but I've just wiped it on the back of my hand. This would be amazing for like a summer wedding or something. Which actually I am going to a summer wedding. So I will log that away. Go just. Okay, and then just on the very, very outer corner, I'm just going to pop a little bit of this dark brown shade just to give a little bit more dimension. And then I'm just going to blend it with a big fluffy brush. Just being careful not to melt all the colours in together because then it would just turn into a big mess. So you just want to kind of really carefully almost just go around the outside and don't blend it too high. We just want to get it just on the lid near the brow bone. Then I'm going to wipe off that annoying fallout <laughs> because there is a lot. So yeah, you definitely want to do your eyes before you do your, at least before you do your under eye concealer because this eyeshadow palette has a lot of fallout. Okay, so for mascara, I am going to go in with my Maybelline, the Colossal Mascara, which is probably my favorite mascara ever. I love it. And I'm just going to put a really light coat on because I'm going to put some lashes on afterwards. Just like that. 
Okay, I have two sets of lashes here. I've got the Ardell Baby Wispies and the Ardell Natural Lashes. I'm going to go with the Baby Wispies, I think. Now you could trim these, which I would recommend if you were going to an event because I always think they look better if you kind of have more lashes on the outer corner because that kind of gives you that cat eye effect. But I can't be bothered and I can't find my scissors so I'm just gonna leave them like they are. I do seem to have big eyes though, like lengthwise because I never seem to have one with not cutting lashes. Yep, I should have trimmed them. Eh, I'll cover it with liner so it doesn't matter. I am so bad at putting false eyelashes on. In case you couldn't tell. Okay, I'm just gonna blend them with my natural lashes using some more of my mascara. And now I'm going to hide that ugly band with my L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim eyeliner. Eyeshadow, just using this little eyeliner brush. I've just gone over the eyeliner just to make it a little bit more smudgy and softer. Okay, now for foundation, I'm gonna go with my L'Oreal True Match foundation and my Real Technique sponge. I'm just gonna go back in with the just the foundation and I'm just going to kind of pinpoint conceal those spots with the foundation. For under my eyes, I'm just going to use my Maybelline Dark Circle Eraser. I'm just going to do a little bit of cream contour using my Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Stick Foundation. And I've been contouring just here recently. So if you see there's like two contour lines just below and above my cheekbone and that kind of lifts your face and makes your cheekbone look more pronounced, which is a nifty little trick I just learned. And I'm just going to use my fingers to blend it in. I'm also going to highlight my face using a cream highlighter from MAC. I don't know what this is called because it's all rubbed off the back, but it's just like a little highlighting cream pop thing. You know what I mean. If I can find it, I'll, I'll list it down below. Set my under eyes. I'm going to use my Face of Australia loose translucent powder. And then for the rest of my face, I'm just going to use my Estee Lauder double wear stay in place powder. For blush, I'm going to use my Revlon Charmed Enchantment cream blush. I didn't really powder my cheeks, so this is just going on to my foundation. Oh, I love this blush. It's so beautiful. 
And it's really amazing for summer as well because it looks very glowing and natural. And for my powder highlight, I'm going to use my Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder in Iridescent. Napoleon Perdue Matte Bronze as usual. Now, because I have recently dyed my hair blonde, I haven't been going as dark my brows. I do like the look of dark brows and light hair but sometimes I feel like it's a little bit much when I go really really dark. I've been using a lighter, a bit of a lighter shade. This one from the Makeup Revolution palette and it looks really light but it doesn't seem to be too light on my eyebrows. It just kind of looks more natural and a bit softer. Ultra Matte Lip Colour in the shade Addiction. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys!